Hi there, my name's Chris, sales manager for Sound and Vision in Bolton. We're looking at a range of Sony LED edge-lit TVs today. The model numbers are the KDL32 EX703, the KDL40 EX703, the KDL46 EX703, the KDL52 EX703 and the KDL60 EX703. So five screen sizes there, 32, 40, 46, 52 and 60 inch. The same specification on all five models, the model we have here is the 46 inch version. So just to run through the general specification first of all with you. They are all full HD, so they're caught with 720p, 1080i and 1080p resolution. They've also got Freeview HD built into them, at the moment we're actually on ITV HD. It will pick up the HD channels just from your standard TV aerial. You plug your aerial into the back of this TV, it's got the latest Freeview HD tuner in here. You will get BBC HD, ITV HD and Channel 4 HD, as long as they are broadcasting in your area. And it is an absolutely fantastic picture. You've also got 100Hz scanning, so they're caught with extreme fast movement, so if you're watching any fast movement in sport or movies, you're going to get no delay or drag in the image. With them being an LED edge-lit TV, they are also ultra-slim panels. We will spin the set round shortly so you can have a look at that, but extremely slim panels. They're also Wi-Fi ready, so if you want to uh, access the, uh, the best of the internet, you can do so without any clutter of cables, so they're also Wi-Fi ready as well. This particular range of sets also have an ambient sensor built into them. So at the bottom of the TV here, it is constantly reading the ambient light of the room and will keep the TV picture optimum performance but also running at its lowest cost for you. So we'll have a look at the side of the TV now and some of the sockets on the rear of the set. Okay, so here's a side on view of this particular TV. We're only looking at two inches in depth, so around five centimeters. So, extremely slim, um, as I was saying, with it being LED technology, you would achieve an ultra slim panel. The sockets down the side of the set, we're looking at a USB socket uh, at the top here. So you can plug a memory stick into there, um, if you've got photographs, music, whatever you've got stored on there, you can have that playing through the TV. Just underneath there, you've got two HDMI sockets on the side of the TV. And underneath there again, you've got composite, which is the yellow, uh, white and red socket here. Uh, Wii games consoles use that connection and just underneath there you've also got a headphone socket. On the rear of the TV we have an Ethernet socket um, so you can hardwire uh, your computer system through this socket. Underneath there we've got two SCART sockets. Next to that is component um, which is the uh, red, green, blue connection. A lot of games consoles use that connection, you've got that on there as well. The red and white underneath there is the audio feed for the component input. To the right of that we have a VGA socket, so you can plug yet again your PC through that socket. Next to that you've got a further two HDMI sockets, making four in total, you've got two on the side, two on the rear of the set. You've also got an analog audio out on here, so if you want to feed the sound out externally through the TV, through an amplifier, you can do so. But you've also got the digital uh, optical out as well, so if you want to feed the sound digitally from this TV through an external amplifier, you can do that as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the menu system on the EX703 range. The remote control, uh, you have a blue button here which is marked Home. If you press the home button, it will put the menu on screen, which is Sony's crossbar menu system. On the remote control, we have up, down, right and left. In the centre is the OK button. If we just jog along now to the left, we'll start scrolling through the menu and various things are changing on screen. This particular TV uh, has got a USB socket on the side of it. Um, we are saying before that if you have got any photographs on there, you can store them onto the TV itself. You can send photographs from your PC to the TV. To access them, you find Bravia Images. You press OK in the centre of the remote control. It will show any images you may have stored in there. So we can now access any of those images. You just press the OK button. And you can also, once it's displayed on screen, you can either um, leave that on there and use it as a photo frame. You can scan through all the different images. And the picture performance is absolutely unbelievable. It's a fantastic picture. With this being an edge-lit LED TV, all LED TVs have tremendously high contrast levels. So you get a very good black level, 
great depth of colour and fantastic detail in darker areas of the screen as well. We'll just come out of that menu just for a moment and if we yet again scroll along to the left to the display settings we press OK on the remote control we're then into the picture settings on the TV and we can then adjust the backlight, the contrast, the brightness or the colour you're just jogging up and down on the remote, highlight the one you want to adjust press OK in the centre of the remote and then you're moving to the left or to the right to set that to the level that you want the contrast, the brightness or the colour to be at so to run through that again, the home button, the blue button jog along to the left to get to display press OK, you're into the picture settings, press OK again and then just jog down to whatever setting you want, if it's the colour press OK and then just move to the left or the right to set the colour to the level that you want, it's as simple as that if we just come out of that for a moment if you go down from the picture settings to ambient sensor as I said this particular TV has a photo cell on the bottom of the set here constantly measuring the ambient light of the room you do need to switch this feature on in the menu so it's under ambient sensor, we've got it switched on here at the moment once you've highlighted ambient sensor just press OK and you've got the option to have it off or on but as I said if you leave it switched on it will constantly measure the ambient light and always to keep the picture at optimum performance for you so to come out of that now we'll just quickly have a look at the uh, sound menu it's the one just underneath here sound press OK and then we've got controls to adjust then for treble and bass and you've also got uh, the facility to access surround sound where you can throw the sound out and around you from the TV not only has this TV got fantastic picture performance it's also got a really good sound system into it as well at the top of the remote control here that particular button takes us into the sockets on the side and on the uh, back of the TV and if we keep pressing that it will take us through the different options on there so if I want to get the PC running through it we've got that plugged in at the moment through the uh, VGA connection at the back if we jog down to that one we should get the PC displayed on there hopefully may have just gone off so we'll just give that there we go and then we've got the PC through there as well it's a fantastic TV uh, I said it's Wi-Fi ready it's one of the latest LED edge lit TV so ultra slim only a couple of inches in depth they're 100 hertz, so they caught up with fast movement really well. They've got the Freeview HD tuner, so you've got a free HD service built into the TV as well. There's a lot to discuss on this TV, far too much to mention in these short video clips, so please give me a call on 01204 861 861 and ask for Chris. Or go to our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk, or just click the link at the side of the screen for any more details. Thank you. <laughs>